Coca-Cola claims that their name is the second most understood term globally, behind only OK. It's hard to ascertain how true that is, but one thing is certain, Coca-Cola is one of the biggest, most valuable, and most recognizable brands on planet Earth, and it has been for years. Since the first glass of Coke was sold on the 8th of May 1886, up until the present day, Coca-Cola has built a colossal brand that's really difficult to compete with. One can attribute this immense global success to a lot of things, even down to cocaine, which was once added to every bottle of Coke. People insist that the drink is heavily addictive, and that's why it's had such a hold on millions of people over the years. But no, it's surely not just that. I mean, first of all, cocaine has not been added to Coca-Cola for about 100 years now, but it's still one of the biggest brands in the world. Let's face it. The simple reason is the company's unrivaled marketing strategies. Coca-Cola are geniuses when it comes to marketing. The reason they're such a recognizable brand today is because they're affiliated with the biggest and most recognizable phenomena on the globe. Coca-Cola has huge affiliates with music, sports, fashion, and even religious holidays. You'll see the logo at the biggest festivals, the Olympics, the World Cup, and you even relate it heavily with Christmas. Look at what they did with Santa Claus, for example. Till today, Coca-Cola is still credited with popularizing the image of Santa as an old man in a red and white suit. The brand is associated with the things that bring the most joy and happiness to people, and that's exactly how they engrave the brand in millions of memories and remain unforgettable. And yeah, we mentioned sports. Coca-Cola's presence in the world of sports is huge and has existed for a great deal of time. Now, while most sports-affiliated brands are known to partner with the biggest figures across sports, Coca-Cola goes down a different route. Cristiano has a lifetime contract with Nike, Neymar is a Red Bull athlete, and Messi has an endorsement deal with Pepsi, Coca-Cola's biggest rival. And while this route has proven to be successful over and over again, Coca-Cola has seemed largely uninterested in going that way with their marketing. The brand has always been more concerned about partnering with events rather than athletes. They always want to be at the top of the food chain, so at the end of the day, your Red Bull and Pepsi athletes will always end up playing in a Coca-Cola organized competition, and this has been their way for decades now. Coca-Cola was the first ever commercial sponsor of the Olympic Games, and we're talking way back in 1928, almost a century ago. They've sponsored every Olympic game since then. But when it comes to football, Coca-Cola really only started their hijack of the sport about 45 years ago when they first sponsored the FIFA World Cup. Coca-Cola started taking football by the scruff of its neck, so if you love football, you'd also love Coca-Cola, because your brain begins to associate some of the happiest and most iconic footballing moments with that red and white brand. Croatia shot the world by knocking Brazil out of the World Cup, Coca-Cola is there. Mbappe takes the world by storm in the World Cup final, Coca-Cola is there. Messi steps up for his penalty in the World Cup final, Coca-Cola is everywhere. Harry Kane celebrates a late goal and Coca-Cola, scratch that, a Coke bottle is right there on the pitch. They're everywhere you look in football. And it's not just football, Coca-Cola has also partnered with the NBA, NFL, NHL, Major League Baseball, NASCAR, Cricket World Cup, pretty much every sport their hands could touch. But as far as football is concerned, since Coca-Cola turned its attention to the sport in the 1970s, it has not taken its foot off the gas. Coca-Cola has sponsored every single World Cup tournament since the 1978 edition. In all these years, the World Cup has gone to South America, Europe, North America, Africa, Asia, and the Middle East. So that means that Coca-Cola, which was already an established and recognizable brand, further solidified its popularity in all these parts of the world. And here's the thing, Coca-Cola doesn't just rely on sponsoring the biggest sporting events, they also run un forgettable ad campaigns while they're at it. For example, for years now, Coca-Cola has been releasing World Cup songs, and some of them have rivaled the actual official anthem of the tournament. We're sure you all remember Waving Flag from 2010. That same year, they did something truly magical with the celebrations campaign. Goal celebrations have become a massive thing, so Coca-Cola decided to run a campaign celebrating the history of goal celebrations in football. Genius! Again, these guys just always want you to associate the happiest moments of the sport with their Coca-Cola brand. In addition to FIFA, Coca-Cola also partners with UEFA and have been doing that since 1988. And that's the reason what Cristiano Ronaldo did at the UEFA Euro 2020 was such a big thing. Coca-Cola were one of the guys who made the whole event possible. You don't get to just push their product aside. But Coca-Cola is actually not interested in international football alone. Since the early 90s, the brand has been working on establishing a foothold in club football as well. It sponsored the EFL, all the three tiers of football below the Premier League for six years between 2000 
2004 and 2010. During this period, they had different marketing strategies including the win a player and buy a player campaigns which helped them really permeate the grassroots market. Before then though, Coca-Cola had already partnered with the EFL Cup for six years. What is now known as the Carabao Cup was known as the Coca-Cola Cup between 1992 and 1998. During the same period, the brand was doing the same with leagues in other countries. Between 1994 and 1997, the Scottish League Cup was known as the Coca-Cola Cup. Between 1998 and 2001, the Irish League Cup was known as the Coca-Cola League Cup. We could go on and on like that with different football leagues across different countries that Coca-Cola has partnered with. Truly, they have hijacked the sport and we're sure you can see how now. But as far as club football is concerned, Coca-Cola's biggest move still remains its recent partnership with the Premier League. At the beginning of the 2019-20 season, Coca-Cola put pen to paper on its biggest sponsorship deal in the whole of the UK to date, when it agreed to be the Premier League's very last commercial partner for markets across the UK. This is crazy influence. They opened the doors at the Olympics and closed the doors in the Premier League. Only one brand, Coca-Cola. And ladies and gentlemen, this is exactly how Coca-Cola has hijacked football. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.